Depuis leurs contacts dans les ONG à travers le pays, Telapak apprend que les mafias du bois visent désormais les provinces de Papouasie, dans l'île de la Nouvelle-Guinée. Indonesia's Papuan forests were an obvious place for the timber mafia to go to next because here you had huge stands of ancient forests, you had valuable hardwoods available, very little control, and the area for them just must have felt like an open book to make money. The city of Sarong on the northwest tip of Papua is a hotspot for the illegal logging business. Its hotels and seedy bars are where deals are struck between the timber mafia and foreign timber buyers, mostly from Malaysia, China and India. There is corruption in the local forestry office. Here, officials willingly and illegally redraw the boundaries of protected areas to suit the needs of timber companies, allowing access to valuable timber. The prime target for the loggers is the merbau tree, a threatened species with the last commercial stands found on the island of Papua. Merbau is used for flooring and furniture. Large amounts are being illegally shipped out from Sarong despite Indonesia's log export ban. This shipping website shows consignments of merbau logs awaiting collection for delivery to China and India. We were in Sarong and one night uh, a couple of guys came to see us from the Kanaimas tribe, which was an indigenous tribe living in the forest, um, and they told us what had happened to their forest. An amazing story uh, about how their area had been invaded by loggers, and it was being controlled by a military police officer who had kind of threatened them, walked around with a pistol, and basically told them that, you know, this wood's going to be mine, there's nothing you can do about it. EIA and Telepak traveled south of Sarong City, a day's journey by speedboat and on foot, to the home of the Kanasaimos tribe, to witness the impact of logging on traditional communities. In three locations in the Kanasaimos tribal lands, illegal merbau logging is taking place against the wishes of the community. Damage to the forest from logging roads is clear to see. EIA and Telepak observed large merbau logs awaiting collection, clearly illegal, since no official permit has been granted to log in this area. Dan untuk lingkungan ini, perasaan untuk melihat lingkungan itu sebagai bagian yang harus dihancurkan memang tidak. Itu termasuk rumah tangga yang besar. Hubungan atau ya hubungan sebagai kearifan masyarakat adat dengan alam itu sangat menjadi kebanggaan masyarakat dan tatanan kehidupan masyarakat adat di sini melihat bahwa kekayaan alam yang ada itu menjadi aset utama sehingga di dalam pengolahannya itu sangat sederhana. The outsider responsible for the illegal logging of this tribal land is a military police officer called Kasper. What's happening is corruption is moving in, the military are involved, the police are involved, and what's needed is that the governor of Papua actually investigates what's happening with this corruption, with the military, with the police. Staying with the Kanaimas tribe we stayed with in a village um, was an extraordinary feeling. There was no electricity, there was, there was nothing there that we would be used to. Um, but it didn't take long to really feel the, the wonderful sense of, of how that community lived as such a close-knit, caring, loving community. It, it rubbed off very heavily on us. Grâce en partie au travail de l'EIA, de Telapak et d'autres, les gouvernements occidentaux et les consommateurs commencent à exprimer leurs craintes à propos de la légalité des bois tropicaux disponibles. L'industrie officielle de bois indonésienne décide de rejoindre l'initiative de Telapak de définir la légalité en matière de bois de construction. Lalu quand kita tanya apa sih legal logging, nah di situlah orang debat, debat tentang pendefinisian itu. Dan itu lama. 
definisi itu lama di dalam yang di SK Menteri eh, SK Dirjen tentang Stella Gold itu. Lama sekali itu. Pada tahun 2003 diskusi-diskusi eh, seperti ini semakin banyak terjadi karena semua pihak merasa bahwa langkah awal untuk bisa eh, menanggulangi permasalahan illegal logging adalah kejelasan terlebih dahulu. Gitu loh. Ma mana yang kayu legal, mana yang ilegal sehingga penegakan hukum bisa berlangsung efektif dan juga um, apa namanya um, para pelaku usaha punya panduan yang jelas bagaimana melakukan uh, usahanya. Alors que les discussions sont bien engagées, les différentes parties concernées réalisent à quel point leurs intérêts divergent. Perdebatannya itu sangat hangat dan bahkan kalau mau bisa dibilang panas gitu ya. Itu betul-betul uh, head to head antara terutama antara um, uh, private sector gitu industri dan uh, pihak uh, masyarakat sipil. Lors d'une tentative supplémentaire pour stopper le flux de son bois de ramin vers la Malaisie, le gouvernement indonésien soumet une requête à CITES à la veille de sa réunion annuelle pour que le ramin soit passé de l'annexe 3 à l'annexe 2. En soutien L'EIA et Telapak rédigent en vitesse et publient The Ramen Racket. So we set out to create a really compelling document which would help make the argument. So we pulled together all the information on ramen dating back to you know, the, the late 90s in Tanjung Puting and the trade in Malaysia, all the things that we gathered over those years. CITES déplace le bois de ramen à l'annexe 2. Le ramen est ainsi déclaré menacé et l'annexe régule le trafic légal des espèces. Le gouvernement malaisien réplique en déclarant ce changement non nécessaire. Depuis des contacts de confiance en Papouasie de l'Ouest, les ONG apprennent la hausse significative du trafic illégal d'arbres de mer beau découpés, puis acheminés vers la Chine. Quelques jours plus tard, L'équipe retourne à Sorong, avec l'intention de tracer l'export illégal de bois. EIA and Telepac's report reveals how shadowy international networks are conspiring to steal huge amounts of valuable merbau logs from Indonesia and smuggling the contraband to China using false Malaysian documents, often with the complicity of the Indonesian authorities. With huge cargo ships arriving daily, it is a trade of breathtaking scale and destructiveness. Merbau logs are the most common timber found at the port. This luxurious dark hardwood is used in the manufacture of flooring. In the last five years, hundreds of factories have sprung up in Nanshun, churning out thousands of kilometers of merbau wood flooring. There are over 200 sawmills in the town processing merbau logs, the vast majority of which have been stolen from Papua. The Shanghai-based firm Sihi Wood revealed to EIA and Telepak undercover investigators that they regularly export merbau flooring to the UK, Canada and the USA. Mm. For merbau, I think every month we export about uh, 20... 20,000, 25,000, I think. 25,000 square meters. The massive illegal trade in Merbau between Indonesia and China is threatening the last pristine forest in the Asia Pacific region. While a chain of brokers and middlemen are earning vast profits, the communities of Papua are being robbed to feed China's rapacious timber industry. The Last Frontier fait les une des journaux à travers le monde et domine l'agenda des médias en Indonésie pendant quelques jours. La colère publique se répand au sujet des forêts du pays 
en train de se faire détruire illégalement par les mafias du bois local, qui vendent le bois à la Chine à des prix très bas. Le président réclame une copie du rapport et de l'enquête vidéo. Puis, il demande une réunion de cabinet d'urgence. Enfin, il s'adresse au pays. Depuis la capitale, Jakarta, le président déploie une force militaire de 1500 hommes vers Sorong. La force militaire confisque d'énormes stocks de merbeaux illégalement découpés et fait cesser tous les exports imminents vers la Chine, où le manque d'approvisionnement fait doubler les prix. Kaspar, l'officier de police militaire corrompu, responsable du trafic dans les terres du peuple Knasaimos, disparaît. So from a campaign point of view, the impact of the last frontier report was better than we could have ever anticipated. We expected something, but we didn't expect something so dramatic and so quick, which basically marked a turning point in Indonesia's struggle against illegal logging. We finally reached the right level, and we sense for the first time there was genuine commitment to actually do something on this issue. And so it was, you know, it was, it was a great moment in the campaign, really. Abasourdi par le volume et la variété des bois de toute la région d'Asie du Sud-Est que son équipe a observé en Chine, l'EIA décide de lancer une autre campagne afin de faire des recherches sur l'abattage illégal en Asie du Sud-Est et le transport de ce bois dans toute la région. 